Hey, what is going on guys? It is your boy, the Cinemax BL here, and today what I want to bring you guys is a switch site every kill chem. So basically, every time I kill somebody, I would switch the site on the VMR, the Honey Badger, I was using the VMR site. But yes, this is pretty unique gameplay, so every time I killed somebody, I switched my site uh, on the VMR site, because the VMR site has two uh, sites, it has like a close, like one site, it like magnifies um when you're looking through it and then one site like zooms out or just is like regular but yeah you guys can see in the gameplay right here but today what i want to what i want to talk about i always screw that up but what i want to talk about today guys is the new patch that came out for call of duty ghost and they should have added all these patches in the beginning of the game i'm not sure what they're thinking they cannot fix the game the ghost is screwed you can't do anything about it it's a shit game Excuse my language there, but, you know, it's it's done, basically. I mean, a lot of people quit. There's more people playing Black Ops 2 than Ghost, and that's pretty sad. That game's, that game's about to be two years old this November, and Ghost is almost a year old, and they're trying to add this patch to make it better. It's like, what are you doing? But I'm going to talk about what they added. So, to just, just start off, they added the orange hit markers. So, basically, when you're shooting at somebody and you kill them, an orange hit marker appears to know that you kill them. That would have been a lot helpful if they added it in the beginning, I'm not sure like how retarded they are, but uh, they must be really retarded. So they didn't add it uh, at the beginning, which would have helped a lot of pub stompers. Uh, because, you know, when you're running around and you shoot somebody, maybe you drop shot at me, you want to like go to the left and you run, but you don't put enough bullets into them somehow, then you're screwed right there. And then you die off whatever, you're, if you're on a streak. So yeah, you're screwed there. And then they also uh, added a little picture of like, you'll know when you're on, or when you know the enemy has an oracle, a little oracle guy um, comes at the bottom of your gun. That would have been a lot helpful for the pub stompers if they put it in the beginning of the game. I don't understand how retarded they are. Like why would it, that would have helped so much. But no, they didn't do it because they're retarded. I, like, what is Infinity Ward thinking? Like, I hope Sledgehammer is more clear with their mind and knows what they're doing. And then they also added the ability to reset your stats right now. It's like, are you retarded? Do you know how many Master Prestiges there are? Do you know how... Like, I, I got Master Prestige in January or February. Oh, no, I got it... I got it in, like, February or March. And that was when I got the game in December, and it only took me a couple months to get the Master. And... Oh, wait, no, was it... Maybe it was April. Yeah, it was April. It only took me, I don't know how, four months, four or five months to get the Master. And, you know, you should have added it when the game came out or a month or two after the game. Because there were a lot of people that were at Master when the game was, like, five days out. They were, like, freaking try-hard Randys just playing, sweating their balls off, trying to go or trying to get the Master Prestige. And if you saw that somehow, and I don't know how they didn't, you would think that maybe they want to reset because the game has like eight months left of its lifetime before Sledgehammer releases the new one. But no, you wouldn't do that. And then everybody had to create a new account, you know, buy a new Microsoft Live or Xbox Live and, you know, had to hack so they could reset and all that. And they wasted their time doing that, but now you release it. It's like, what are you doing? Like, come on. So yeah, at orange hit markers, which would have been awesome in the game freaking oracle reminder that you're on the oracle that would have been amazing the oracle's op in my my opinion but and then the freaking reset your stats i mean i'm not the guy who resets stats but i know some of you guys are or some of my friends are they like to reset their stats redo but i don't want to reset my stats i mean i probably get a higher kd my kd is currently like a 2.3 i mean that's that's good for me I could probably keep it at like a three or four. But if you guys enjoyed this uh, commentary and gameplay, please leave a like, comment, and if you haven't, subscribe. Thank you for the support lately. I know I've started to gain a lot of subs lately. I'm at 418 right now. Um, I gained like five, what, this weekend, and then I gained like seven in one day last week. It just keeps like this. I keep getting subs differently every day. I don't know what's going to happen, but I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay and commentary. Please leave a like if you enjoyed. I'm saying this again. I don't know why, but I'm out, guys. Peace.